Now let's look at this question. We should be very good at drawing the pitch for this now. We have a speed of 12 and an angle of elevation of 27 and it's on the horizontal plane. So here we go. That's our nice 12. We've got our 27. So we know uh, vertically that's going to be uh, 12 sine 27 and this is going to be 12 cos 27 I do them both straight away all the time no matter the question just out of habit now if we want the range so that's the displacement or distance from the beginning um, remember if we always resolve horizontally we can use s equals uh, ut plus a half a t squared and uh, when we resolve horizontally a equals zero okay but we do need and that is u we do need time here but is time in the question it isn't but what do we know if we resolve vertically this is going to travel like this so s vertically is going to be zero when we resolve ver vertically so we can use this information to say zero equals still using s equals ut plus a half at squared 12 sine 27t minus 4.9 t squared because remember it was over in horizontal uh, vertically I mean a equals minus 9.8 so so I've just half the minus 9.8 here and we solve well you can factorize this take t out equals zero so we know uh, one solution is t equals zero which is at the beginning and then we just need to set this um, bracket to equal zero and just solve that and you will get t equals 1.1 seconds so we have the time that the stone is in the air so now we can resolve horizontally now resolve horizontally which we can then use um, I don't know let's say SX as in the horizontal plane as an x-axis use a different letter or you could you could arguably just use S again that's going to equal 12 cos 27 times your t from before remember because we're going to get s equals ut because a equals zero uh, in this direction and we have our t equals 1.11 so we're going to get the distance as 11.1 or displacement equals 11.9 um, meters now we can do that okay let's have a read of that question We've got a military helicopter 20 meters above the village so I'm going to say s starts at zero here this is the helicopter and this is it dropping the food parcels to the village of people it says it's thrown with a velocity at 5 meters per second at a angle 10 degrees below the horizontal which is highlighted by this picture here okay so the vertical speed we all know is 5 uh, sine 10 horizontal speed will be 5 cos 10 and this is the 5 given by the question So what is the first thing we need to work out? 
So from here to here, it must be 20. That's 20. So let's resolve vertically. Um, now, because this is going downwards, it might be actually better to resolve down because it's getting thrown down with gravity. And it will make sense because look at this here. So u equals 5 sine 10. Let's just build up our skills and write that down. Now a is going down, so that's going to be positive 9.8. Um, we have s equals 20 from here. s equals 20. Now we we'll use our suvat. We're going to use s equals ut plus a half a t squared. Substitute our numbers in, we get 20 equals 5 sine 10 plus a half of 9.8 is 4.9t squared. Uh, let's rearrange that to make a quadratic. So we get 4.9t squared plus 5 sine 10 minus 20 equals 0. S solve that using the quadratic formula using your calculator. Now we're going to get um, two answers, a negative answer of minus 2.11 which we could ignore and the second time is to equals 1.93 seconds which is in the context of this question t equals 1.93 seconds. Okay, and it's seconds because it's meters per second. And that's the three significant figures. So we can get that first part down, no problem. Part two, a villager gonna try to catch that. He's got very long arms. That these at two meters. We're going to say the ground is at 20. We know that. So a villager catches a package at a height of 2 metres, so he catches it. So he's catching it like this. So the villager is put actually over here, but I hope you get my drift. We need to find the time this package is sent spent in the air so don't worry about the wording I think we've got this skill so if that's 2 what's this now 18 20 minus 2 so s equals 18 for this question so this equation just changes still resolving up or down and will make sense to do it uh, down we still have the same figures so we still have and using s equals ut plus a half a t squared. This time s is 18. And use the same. And I forgot to put the t here, people. Plus 4.9t squared. And essentially it's the same as this question before. But the 18 is going to change. This is just going to change to 4.9t squared. Plus 5 sine 10t minus 18 equals 0. And we're going to ignore that negative answers. So t equals 1.83 because that's just gonna, the negative answer is giving you this essentially. 1.83 seconds. So that's not too bad at all. 
you can definitely do that it's just worded differently now let's just try this 11 mark exam question you've got a ball projected at speed u we've got this from the point out at the top of a vertical cliff and they've given us a diagram it's 25 meters here so we need to take all this into context it's projected at 45 degrees it's given in the question but we can draw this now so even it was all worded we can do it and it hits the ground again uh, when that's 100 meters so it lands at A the motion of the ball is modelled out of a particle moving through under gravity. Using this initial model, show that U equals 28. Okay. So it's a show that one. But I'm pretty sure we've got the skills to do this. Let's give this a go. I do pause the video at any moment. So. What can we need? News. We can use... let's say what's that going to be can we remember that's u cos 45 that way and um, vertically that's u side 45 because we could use this now because we've got this 100 meter distance here and this is going to fall quite steeply like so we should really resolve horizontally using um, suvat um, s equals ut plus a half a t squared right that's our first step it's a six marker and you'll see why we need to use that so resolving horizontally we get u equals um, well, it's uv really equals u cos um, let's call that uv or ux I'm going to call that ux that equals u cos 45 right a equals 0 so we get we know the horizontal distance of 100 equals um, well it is just going to be u cos 45 from the original part u cos 45 T. We have an equation here. Now let's use the vertical motion. Same thing, but this time, can you see if we're going upwards, S equals minus 25. So you could start with either because you do need both of these. But, honestly, not sure what to do. Just do both directions because you're, you should get some method marks. So using s equals ut plus a half at t squared again, we get s equals minus 25. Uh, we get u sine 45t. Uh, a equals minus 9.8 now. So we're going to get minus, just going to jump a step, minus 4.9 t squared. Now we need to eliminate t and solve for u. So how can we do that? Now I have to think about this for a sec. And remember because we've got different we've got u u and t we need to use some thinking skills here now we need to know that sine 45 equals root 2 over 2 cos 45 equals root 2 over 2 so if we change this to 100 equals u root 2 over 2 uh, times t and the one below we get minus 25 equals u root 2 
over to t minus 4.9 t squared now can you see this section can be substituted here so changing color pen we're going to use this 100 in replace of here so we're going to get minus 25 equals 100 minus 4.9 t squared so we're going to um, solve that and we're going to get 125 equals um, 4.9 t squared and we're going to get t squared equals 125 over 4.9 Square root the answer, um, which is going to give us 25 root 2 over 7. Now, if we substitute that plus or minus, but we're going to use a positive value of that. So, if we use that and sub into here, we're going to get 100 equals u root 2 over 2 times 20, 25 root 2 over 7 that's going to cancel out to 100 equals u times 25 over 7 and then u will equal 28 that was a very tricky one for the six marks but if you can get up to here you would have got four out of six marks which you can all do now even if you got unstuck to show that u equals 28 you could still do part b using the value of u because we know now now know u equals 28 so this changes to 28 sine 45 and this way it changes to 28 cos 45 find the greatest height of the ball above the horizontal ground n to a so we're finding the greatest horizontal flat, uh, height like so um, so we know we have to result upwards we're going to get a equals minus 9.8 we need s think about it. at its greatest height what do we know v equals 0 we have u 28 sine 45 what see that equation are we going to use v squared equals u squared um, plus 2as so remember s don't mistake that as a 5 because we have done that in class before if you remember so we get v squared equals u squared plus 2ah in this distance we can even change the letter to h here um so v equals zero that's important to remember u equals 28 sine 45 um a is minus 9.8 so that's um minus 9.8 19.6h and you just solve that, rearrange that to get um, h equals um, 28 sine 45 divided by 19.6 and you should get 45 meters so can you see, don't get all of part a, you can definitely all get full marks in part a and you can hit these three marks there that's seven marks on the old and this is a very recent exam question now let's look at the next part in the refinement to the model of the 
motion of the ball from O to A, the effect of air resistance is included. This refined model is needed to find a new value of U. How would this new value of U compare with 28, the value given in part A? Well, the new value will be greater than 28 meters per second. Because if you count air resistance uh, for this model, for the same thing to happen in the model, then for N and A to make 100, U has to be greater because it's affected by air resistance. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, D, state one further refinement to your model that would make the model more realistic. So what could you use? Think about it. You've got lots of uh, options here. Uh, you can use a more accurate value for G. So D, more accurate value for G. Use your thinking caps. For G. Remember what the model's um, the ball's modeled as a particle, so um, it could be not modeled as a particle. Particle. You know, shape of ball includes spin. Includes spin, and that's your eleven out of eleven. All of this is doable you can get marks on these types of questions if you don't get all 11 7 or 8 out of 11 is certainly achievable by you all remember like I said do go through all my videos again because we do forget skills and we will get this um, down do like the video if this has helped just so I know this is worth my time